Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I have got some more plates from Beauty Big Bang that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. So these are plates 59 to 64. So this is the first plate. I'm just going to turn my light off so you can see it without the glare. So this is 59 and obviously it's very um, like rainy day feel. So you want to remove the blue film like so before stamping there you go hopefully you can see all these beautiful images a little bit better um so these plates are nicely made you've got no sharp edges um and they do have their logo on the back of the plate as well so for majority of these plates i have pre-done the swatches um so here i thought i'd do a bit of a hollow rain theme which i just think looks absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to come in a little bit closer so you can see it at different angles so that's that plate. So I will be showing you how I do the one design, um, which you saw on the thumbnail uh, of this video. So I'm just going to show you some pictures now, just so you can see these swatches in more detail. So you can see that they have it's picked up reasonably well, um, whether that's uh, finer or more solid images. So the next one is plate number 60, and obviously it's got very much like African um, theme but i went with these colors so black and gold and i actually just added that underneath the camel just to add a bit of like um, the sand effect so i kept this one fairly simple i didn't want to go in lots and lots of colors but obviously that is um an option as well sort of going along the african theme but again as you can see all of these images have picked up really really well I generally don't have any issues with Beauty Big Bang products. Um, I do love to review for them for that reason. So this one is like a marbled effect. So I actually did a mixture of kind of like foils and like chrome powder. I sort of put the chrome powder over foils underneath and it's kind of got that crazy background look. I don't think you can see it as well on camera. But you can create some real cool... Um, like marbly designs with this plate for sure. So here are some pictures. So I don't know whether you can see the foils underneath and the different colors. And again, all of these images have been picked up, picked up really nicely. So this is plate 64. So again, kind of like very outdoorsy theme with flowers and leaves. And I just sort of added, I stamped these over a plain white base and then added some Sharpies. So that's a real great way to have a quick but still colourful mani and I was really pleased with how these turned out. So again, I'm going to show you nice and close. And then this is going to be the final plate. So it's a layered plate and I thought I would use this and show you how to create a design. So I'm using Kiki London's products. So these, some of these are from their old spring collection and some of the colours as well. Kind of wanted spring and summery colours for the base. So to be honest, it's not dead clear from the plate which way you're meant to go. So I thought I'd go with the solid first. So I'm going to place that on the nail. So by the way, that um, I don't know if that should be there or not. I can't quite see. And then I went in with the green and kind of lined that up. But I could just see from, from this that that wasn't going to work. It kind of wasn't the right way around because obviously the, it's predominantly green. So I actually started from this end. So I put this image on first. So that kind of gives me a rough... Um, outline of where the other images needed to be then I actually changed it up to yellow because obviously the seeds on strawberries generally they do look more yellowy and then I placed that there and it was kind of cool because I put the it kind of created the green look all by itself just by adding that yellow and then finally I came in with the red so this was really bizarre to me how this worked um because obviously it would seem like I'd put this solid image on and that would cover over everything that I'd previously done but it didn't and it sort of worked really really well so I don't know if all are going to be like that so I'm going to take this image here so I love the kind of mixture of like the flowers 
and leaves and then obviously the textured look as well so you can get some like gorgeous like plaidy images obviously um, you don't need to stamp over the top but I will be stamping over the top with these so I'm starting off with this image first using the same method as I did before so working back but to be honest it wasn't that clear where I should have put it like the other one it was more obvious where I was to place it and then I finished off with the white and because of kind of where I placed that it like lost a lot of the color I thought um, I would go back in actually and I used that second image again and just re-stamped it and then place that on the top so that's not the greatest of swatches but you can definitely have a play around and build up colors that way then I'm going to do this pineapple so I'm starting off with the solid image so I'm going to place that on there which has picked up really really nicely then I really wasn't sure which color to do this I thought if you have too many colors the same it's just going to blur it into one so I kind of chose to have like a bit of an outline with this one so you could see that you know the top of the pineapple more and then I came in with more of a orange look and place that there over the top so I really liked this image and the end results I thought it was super cute and then obviously if you want to make it more green I just came in actually with a sharpie and coloured this bit in So moving on to the next bit, so I'm going to choose this sort of textured design here. I'm kind of trying to do it so like this part of the image is a little bit more subtle. I didn't want it to be dead obvious because I'm stamping over the top of it. So I'm going to take this flower here and again I'm going to go from the small to the largest and kind of see where I go with this. I do think actually majority of it is start from the smallest and work your way back I mean obviously if it doesn't work then you just switch it round I'm sorry I didn't show you the last image but you will obviously get to see it at the end of the video for that one and then for this final nail I'm going to do the uh, leaf design and again I think I, I don't know whether I should have done this the other way around for this one I will actually show you both ways it will be a different leaf design but it, I'm going to show you both ways so that was obviously going from the least solid bit to the most and I don't know maybe I'm not placing it and layering it up properly maybe if I moved it down more you would have got more of a different effect but I do think that one needs to be the other way around so I'm kind of doing it in a different order now and you'll get to see the look from that so we which of these have been your favourites? Have you purchased these already? Will you be purchasing them? Um, if so, will you get all of the collection or will you just pick different plates out? I do quite like the variety of these stamping images, sorry, these stamping plates that I have done. You've got a good mix of designs in with this collection, which you can do multiple different looks with. So there you go, that's the different looks. So I do think with this one, it is going from solid to the lighter version. So just have a bit of a play around with it really and I finished it off with a glossy top coat but I was actually really pleased with how they turned out I'd like to know your thoughts on this Manny would you wear these this way or how would you sort of wear this look so thank you so much for watching thank you Beauty Big Bang for sending me these products out to review for you I really have enjoyed it so all that's left to say really is if you haven't just subscribed, please press that free subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. I always love to read your comments and I do try my hardest to get back and um, respond to those comments as well. So make sure you use the links and the discount codes provided in the description box. But until next time, Jelly Babes, take care. Bye.